Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can change your IP address online. Um, before I start, I just want to make a couple of quick um, distinctions here um, to help save confusion. Um, when you connect to the internet, you basically have two lots of IP addresses or two IP addresses. You have what's called the internal or private IP addresses. Every device you've got the net, that is network enabled, every PC, every laptop, every games console, smart TV, hub, router switch, they all have an IP address, okay? And they have a private IP address. Now, they're not that important. Um, you need to assign one or otherwise they won't be able to connect to the internet. But um, what they effectively do is allow you to access your router or access point or something. The they won't be visible when you're on the internet. No, no websites or anything can see this IP address. Um, there's no real game to playing around with it, to be honest, because it's nobody else sees it apart from on your internal network. The one that is important is your public IP address. Um, that's the one that um, everybody can see. Okay, that one is assigned by the internet service provider who's providing that connection. So you're sitting at home and you're dialing, um, you're connecting out to the internet. It's your ISP that assigns you a public um, external IP address. This one is seen by everybody. It's linked to the account of the ISP and it can be used to actually locate your exact position if they want to. It's the one that a website will record and look up your location when you visit. And it, it does determine what you can see and what you can access online. Um, without this IP address, um, you won't be able to connect to the internet, but it does control what you can see. Um, for instance, if you've ever been to YouTube um, and tried to access a video and it said it's not available in this country, that's down to the location of your public or external IP address. Same when I go to the BBC website and watch BBC iPlayer, I'm in the UK, so it works fine. It, there's there's no problem. I can play anything like that, and there's the, there won't be an issue. Um, however, if I go to Hulu, uh, which is an American um, site, and I try and watch anything there, uh, let me just watch something. Press play. I'll get this message because Hulu has done exactly the same as BBC has done. Looked up and say my IP address, my public IP address, remember, is not in the United States. Okay, so it's blocked me. And there are loads of brilliant um, US, Canadian, whatever websites and media sites. I can't see them because they're restricted to that specific country. Cool. So... This is why people often want to use things like proxies and VPNs to change their IP address. And you can do it quite easily. I'm just going to show you how now. Right. Um, so I'm just going to show you m where my public IP address is here. If you can look, I'm going to blur this out, but um, it's basically looked up my location. You can see I'm in the UK here in North Wales. Um, and that addresses that, that this website has done exactly the same as um, uh, the BBC have just done and Hulu have just done. They've looked up my location. They've looked up that I'm in the UK. Okay. Now, so if I want to watch something like Hulu, um, I have to obviously change that IP address. Now, you can't actually change IP, your IP address. Um, because it's assigned by the ISP, unless you own your own ISP, you won't be able to change it. But what you can do is hide it so that to all the external websites you visit, it, um, it looks different. Okay. And now there are a few programs that do this. Um, they're well worth having. Here's the one I've been using for, well, donkey's years now. It's called Identity Cloaker. Um, what it does is sit in my taskbar and... Um, it gives me access to all these servers all over the world. I primarily use it for security, but um, it's got a brilliant sort of um, use of opening up the internet, if you like. So if you want to hide your real IP address and watch something in a different country, this is what you need. Um, so let me just go and connect. What I'm going to do is connect to uh, one of Identicloaker's US servers in New Jersey. I'm just going to connect to that now. And it takes a second, and I've now got a, 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 an encrypted connection, a very fast encryption connection to a, a US 
uh, proxy server okay and I'm just going to minimize that and I'm going to start my browser again okay this time I'm going to go to that what is my IP address dot com and now can you see the location here has switched me up into um, New Jersey by New York here um, so that my IP address up here is changed I'm sorry I blurred that out but hopefully you can see by the um, the picture here that this website now thinks I'm in um, America okay if I go to the BBC website oh, actually know what the better example is to go to Hulu and I will go to Hulu and try and play this well, when I'm watching this cartoon thing now you may have remembered last time I got a big message saying sorry it's not available in the US this time Hulu has looked up my internet connection just the same and it's seen my public ISP address but it hasn't really seen it it's seen this one it's seen the American one it says hey this guy's in New York he can watch Hulu all he likes. I can even subscribe to Hulu Plus and stuff like that. Uh, I'd go now to the um, US version of Netflix, which is definitely worth having if you're um, not in the US because it's got loads more stuff. But um, until I drop this connection, I've got an American public facing IP address. No website can see where I'm really from. They think I'm in America. My identity is cloaked, as the program says. Um, and it works brilliantly and I can switch now if I want to switch to a Canadian server or a Canadian IP address or a, a French IP address or a German or a, to access different um, content. I just go back, click into Identity Cloaker down here and change the server. Um, well, hopefully that's helped you how you change my IP, your, your IP address online. It's kind of a bit of a cheat because it's more hiding, but in effect to the websites you visit your IP address has changed and you can change it at will two clicks with that tool and you can change to whatever you like okay I'm gonna finish now um, there's a little discount code should be on the screen somewhere if you want to try it out to cloak there's a 15% uh, discount it's well worth trying there's loads of them out there but um, it's important to have a fast fast server especially if you want to stream video uh, all the identity cloak ones are really fast and optimized in fact they can actually speed up your connection in some instances right i'm going to finish now and thank you very much for watching goodbye